Worldwide, Dirty Water. And I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm Sophia Sargent. And I'm Kendra Middleton, coming to you from King's Dining and Entertainment here in the Seaport for the Strikes for Tykes event hosted by David Andrews. I mean, what an exciting event that we have tonight, but it's such a great cause that we're here to celebrate for. It's so unique because not only are they raising funds for kids, but they're also creating awareness about what the Boston Medical Center actually funds. I'm so excited to be a part of such an incredible event, Kendra. It's such an exciting show. Let's hop in and show you what we've got in store for you tonight. We fill up on burgers at Burger Fest at Encore. And say manja at St. Anthony's Feast. And learn more about Strikes for Tykes here at King's Seaport. But first, we are going to head north to Newburyport where Sophia tasted the newest Bacardi cocktails at two awesome venues. I did, and they were super tasty. Have you ever been to Sea Level, Kendra? The menu is incredible. I have not, but I'm so excited for you to walk us through it. And tonight's big ticket is brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Let's go dive into Sea Level Newburyport, an extraordinary seafood dining experience with sushi, tacos, pizza, and so much more. But of course, we can't forget about the awesome cocktail menu with featured drinks from Bacardi and Patron. Now, all of this will keep you thinking about this experience until you throw back your last oyster. Nestled within the historic Firehouse building, Sea Level Newburyport is a hidden gem that has redefined local dining since 2017. We got some great menu items, uh, food and beverage. Uh, the bar is crushing it. It's always full on the weekends. Uh, during the week, uh, during the day, it's a great tourist destination. You come down by the water, the beautiful post postcard-like atmosphere of the Merrimack River in the back, and you got beautiful downtown Newburyport out front in the marketplace. Overlooking the Merrimack River, Sea Level offers an array of mouth-watering sushi, pizzas, tacos, and market-fresh seafood, all served with breathtaking waterside views. We have the fried food, we have seared food, we have grilled food, uh, salads, so we got a little bit of everything for everybody here. You know, if seafood's your thing, you definitely want to come here. But we also have other options, you know, the grilled food, we have burgers, fried food, chicken fingers for the kids, and pizza, uh, and sushi for the sushi lovers, so a little bit of everything. While their food menu will clearly take you to the seafood heaven, pair your culinary journey with local craft beers and a cocktail menu that will have you wanting more. The mango chili Bacardi is awesome. We've been crushing it this year with them, too. Um, we call it the sweet heat mojito, it's just a regular mojito, but with the mango chili Bacardi. Experience comfort with seating for 140 indoors, additional tables on the front patio facing historic Market Square, and back seating overlooking a lush lawn and the Merrimack River. Whether it's a romantic date or a lively girls night out, or even just a simple family dinner, the Sea Level Newburyport provides the best seafood experience and even amazing vibes. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Sophia Sargent. That's tonight's big ticket, brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Hi, I'm Higgs, so call me, get tickets, and be part of the action. That looked like such an awesome venue, Sophia. I love Newburyport all year. Yes, it was, and not only was the food super tasty, but the Bacardi cocktails were to die for. After sea level, you headed to Plum Island for some more beachy vibes. I did, I went to Sunset Club, which is actually known for its incredible sunsets. Let's go check it out. This rustic spot on Plum Island not only gives you the best sunsets around, but it gives you a pretty awesome fire pit too. And we can't forget about the creative food and drink, and it's just north of Boston. This is the Sunset Club, and let's figure out why it's called that. A revered Boston area restaurant group is making the most of summer's stunning sunsets with a year-round restaurant located at 4 Old Point Road in Newbury. Open on Plum Island since the summer of 2021, this largely open airspace from the Starlight Management Company, the team behind Newbury Ports The Paddle Inn, Somerville's Trinia's Starlight Lounge, and Parlor Sports, and Boston's Audubon occupies the former Angie's service station. 
The Sunset Club offers a menu of tacos, ceviche, delicious cocktails, and craft beer, as well as a daily special of stunning sunsets served up by Mother Nature. We bought this property about eight years ago. We had a house here that my brother was living in. People would pull up in front of his house and put lawn chairs in front of his house and open a bottle of wine and just sit down and enjoy this beautiful sunset. And we were sitting here and it was kind of just using it as storage space and it was an old garage and we were like, you know, really clearly more people need to enjoy this amazing view. And so um, the kind of idea to maybe put a restaurant here was born. The 130 seat, mainly outdoor eatery, is situated on Plum Island's historic Great Marsh and the Merrimack River. It's an oasis of picnic tables, Adirondack chairs, and yard games centered around a large gas fire pit. The bar is housed within a cedar shingled shack, a building that was at one time an auto repair shop with garage bay doors that make it feel like you are sitting outside when you're actually inside. The garage doors stay open as long as the weather allows. The eclectic menu offers everything from street corn and strawberry gochujang wings to tuna poke bowls and their newly introduced quarter pound lobster BLT. Well, the vibe that we tried to do is kind of like what you would see if you went down to like a Miami beach scene. So we try to like influence a lot of Hispanic, Latin culture in our food. The whole concept is kind of make our kitchen what you would see when you get like street food or food trucks. Um, so we have a lot of different like ethnicities in our cuisine. And their cocktail menu, featuring craft cocktails served up mixed or frozen, is equally as compelling. The frozen drinks are awesome. We have a Bacardi mango and chili daiquiri, and then we have a margarita of the week, and the margarita flavor changes each day. I feel like Sunset Club, I tell all the guests, it's a series of vignettes. It's like, you can have your moments. You know, there's a moment in the boat, there's a moment at the bar, there's a moment when you're at a table. So it's all about creating different moments at Sunset Club, and you just need to come back and create a new moment every time. The location and the space that they have, they really use it wisely. They have the cornhole for activities. It's good for kids, it's good for families. They have the bar with good drinks, good for older people. So it really welcomes a large variety of people. Nothing pairs better with the Sunset Club's funky menu and delicious cocktails than the fact that they're open 365 days a year. That's right, you can enjoy cocktails, fire pits, and gorgeous sunsets all year round. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Sophia Sargent. Up next, we dive into the heart of the Strikes for Tykes event and find out what makes the event so special. That's when Dirty Water TV continues. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kendra Middleton alongside Sophia Sargent coming to you from King's Dining and Entertainment in the Seaport for the Strikes for Takes event. And what an exciting event that it's been tonight. We've been surrounded by such incredible Patriot stars and all for a great cause. Not only are we surrounded by some of your favorite Patriot players, but we are here for the Boston Medical Center and their pediatric programs that they fund, which is super awesome because not only do we get to hang out with Patriots players, but they get to bowl with some of their favorite charity programs as well. This is a great event. Uh, you know, we've been hosting this event uh, in various forms over the years with different Patriots players. Uh, Devin McCourty and his brother hosted it for years, and now it's been passed along to David Andrews. Uh, it's a great, you know, we got the, a lot of great folks from the community here tonight raising a ton of money, so that's exciting. Uh, and then, you know, to have 15 or 20 Patriots players here is a lot of fun, too. And this event is raising funds for my department, pediatrics. This is very important. We need a community to be able to provide the care we give to the children under our care. Boston Medical Center is special because it's a safety net hospital and a lot of the people that we take care of usually do not have the means and therefore we need the support of the community. I personally believe that without the community participation and engagement, we cannot begin to offer health care, especially to children. We start working on this event eight months in advance, and you know we've been doing it for a long time. This is actually our 14th year doing this event. We did have to do a, a virtual event for two years during the pandemic, but um, we, you know, we've got it down to a science, and we've worked out all the kinks, and the most important part is that the players come, they have a great time, they give back to the community, they support one another, and we raise a lot of money for an amazing cause. Thank you all for having me. I appreciate it. It was a huge honor. To be in line of, you know. Such a pleasure to be here and be amongst all of the Patriots stars and sponsors and for a great cause. And hopefully we'll keep this thing going next year. Thank y'all for There's been so many incredible restaurants opening. I cannot wait to see what the hype is about. Moxie's and Seaport definitely rolled in some high caliber names for their grand opening. 
The grand opening of Moxie in the Seaport District is tonight with a rare celebrity appearance from Marky Mark himself. We are going to go drink some of his signature tequila brand and toast to a brand new location out here in the Seaport. Tonight, Moxie's opened up its doors to welcome VIP guests to its first Boston location. Little crowd, we're having a party here. Little crowd, we're having a party here. Moxie's, an upscale casual restaurant, is the latest landmark restaurant to join the highly coveted, vibrant South Boston waterfront neighborhood. Moxie's Boston promises a captivating dining experience featuring breathtaking views of Boston Harbor that set it apart as a must-visit dining destination. Moxie started in Canada 38 years ago. We have 60 restaurants there, and we've been growing in the U.S. for the last five years. This is our eighth U.S. location. We love Boston. We love everything about it. When you think about a premium casual dining experience. We just felt that there was a void in the market here, so Moxie's fills that. Their craft cocktail menu include the signature Marky Mark, a delicious margarita made with pineapple, lime, basil, and Fletcher Azul tequila. An ode to an iconic Bostonian, Mark Wahlberg, who made a celebrity appearance behind the bar at tonight's grand opening. It is official. Moxie's is open right here, my backyard, in the seaport. Okay, I am so excited to announce that my tequila, Fletcher Azul, will be available at all Moxie locations in the U.S. But get yourself Moxies, you get yourself one of those Marky Marks, okay? Crafted by Fletcher Azul Tequila. Come on. Because Boston is known as a sports destination, Moxies knew it had to deliver with a premium interior design, views of the water, and views of every big game. The restaurant is designed so that every seat has a premium view of the water and houses over 20 TVs. For us, we really want to build a base with our with, with locals and become their, their favorite premium casual dining spot in Boston. The launch of Moxies is great news for Bostonians because you've now found your new place for after work drinks, date night, or to watch a game. Moxie's is the number one destination for you to sip some tequila and come hang out. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Kendra Middleton. Up next, we eat a thousand burgers at the Battle of the Burgers at Encore Boston Harbor. And say manja at St. Anthony's Feast. That's when Dirty Water TV continues. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Sophia Sargent alongside Kendra Middleton. And today we're here in the seaport at Kings for the Strikes for Tykes event. That's right, some of your favorite Patriots players just hit the lanes to strike up some funds for the Boston Medical Center. And what an incredible cause, might I add. <laughs> One of my favorite events that we have gone to recently has to be the Battle of the Burgers at Encore. Yes, I was so jealous that Gianna got to be there. Gianna, flex those burgers on us. Get ready for the ultimate culinary competition right here at Boston Encore Casino. Now, I come to Encore for a lot of things between gambling, clubbing, but this, this event takes the cake for me. It is 2023 Battle of the Burger, where I will be trying every burger in the city of Boston to see who reigns supreme. Let's go. As I embarked on this mouth-watering journey, my heart was full of anticipation and my stomach, even more so. It is an amazing event, a burger lover's paradise that literally has it all. Burgers, cocktails, beer, entertainment, and so much more. But today, I have one quest, to taste my way through the top burgers in Boston to crown a new Battle of the Burger champion. It's all part of a competition that has been ongoing for weeks, with the top 20 finalists meeting here out on Encore's lawn to battle it out. And I'm here to taste every single one. First burger, be good, and it better be good. Cheers. This is a pretty good burger. We just gotta keep going though. It's a marathon, not a sprint. On we go. I never think to put feta on a burger, but it's working. It's working and it's delicious. I'm excited for this one because Lolita is my favorite Mexican restaurant in the city of Boston. There, I said it, and I don't regret it, but I've never had their burger. Like, mm, oh. this might be the most flavorful one, actually. This one requires beauty, elegance, and grace, so I'm gonna need two hands. It's so good. Bleep that out. Perfection. Do we see how stunning, st 
done. Look at the plating. And what about the chips? Oh, yes, those are our homemade chips. Um, and we also got a little tomato dust on top of our burger and our lovely oak brand. So, my top contender last year. Let's try it this year. Cheers. Oak, oh, it is once again my favorite burger in Boston. Let's see if the rest of Boston agrees. Breaking news, Lincoln just won. Battle of the Burger Champion. We're just very excited to take the win and bring it back to Lincoln. We won in 2019, and the trophy's coming home. Well, congratulations, guys. You deserve it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lincoln took the cake or the burger with the quail egg. It was unbelievable. All the burgers were amazing. And I will be back right here next year for more. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Gianna Gravelisi. Yum, what a truly epic event. Yes, so many burgers in so little time. Now we're gonna check out another event full of food. St. Anthony's Fair had fried dough, cold beer, chinis. I wouldn't even know where to start, to be honest. I mean, Gianna's the food queen. She's back at this next one. Gianna, what's going on? St. Anthony's Feast happens during the last weekend in August here in Boston, and in my opinion, it is the most delicious way to end the summer. Tonight, we're gonna take you inside one of the most popular and prominent feasts for some food, drink, and fun. Every year, the North End community extends a warm invitation to join in their celebrations as they pay tribute to their revered patron, St. Anthony. Loving God, thanks to this beautiful feast of St. Anthony. The festivities are marked by vibrant parades, solemn religious services, melodious strolling singers, captivating live performances, and of course, an extravagant array of delectable Italian cuisine. St. Anthony's Feast is 104 years old, and it's been a celebration that we brought back, the immigrants, our ancestors brought back from Italy, from a small town of Montefulcione in Avellino. So they brought it here, and back then, Italian immigrants settled on different streets in the neighborhood and in these streets here they came and to bring a piece of their homeland they created the St. Anthony's Feast which I'm proud with my members to continue to this day. This genuine Italian street festival provides an exciting experience for guests of all ages and engaging contests like the Chini Eating Contest that I had the luck to MC these last couple of years. Make some noise if you're ready to watch these people eat these Chini! <laughs> Chini Eating Champion, Michael the Goat Dobbins. It was a fun one. I'm going to be here every year. I, I'm calling it again. I'm going to win next year. But it's not easy. There's some practice into it. There's techniques. But I'm coming for the title every year. Attendees leisurely stroll the beautifully decorated streets, savoring the finest Italian street delicacies from a myriad of push carts, includes a tempting assortments of food. There's also an opportunity to shop an extensive collection of souvenir keepsakes and mementos. Attendees can watch cooking demonstrations and sample fare from the most splendid eateries in the North End. Grazie. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Angie, let us know what you think of this. Viva San Antonio. Mmm. Wow, I literally feel like looking at the Almafi Coast right now. And various Anheuser-Busch beer tents where ice cold beer flowed all day long. We serve ice cold beer. Stella is one of our top beers that sell here. The St. Anthony's Club came to me to run the beer tent. So we started the beer tent in 2020, and this is our third year running. Every year we team to get better and better. St. Anthony's Feast is described as a spectacle not to be missed by Italian Food, Wine, and Culture magazine. And based on my experience here today, it is one spectacular event. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Gianna Gravelisi. Viva San Antonio! Up next, we'll wrap things up from Strikes for Tikes at King's. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kendra Middleton. And I'm Sophia Sargent. And we've had so much fun here at the Strikes for Tykes event at Kings and Seaport. You know, you really can't be being here after a big Patriots win. They beat the Bills yesterday. The atmosphere is great. The vibes are flowing. Really just kind of the best way to kick off an event to support the kids. Absolutely. It's been such a fun time, and I'm so excited that we got to be here tonight. I caught up with some of your favorite Patriots players on the red carpet, so let's go see what they had to say. 
I'm very, very fortunate to announce that the Mass Mutual Foundation is donating $3 million tonight. I think it's a huge honor. I remember, you know, we went to our first Mayo Bowl in 2015, my um, rookie year, and, um, you know, didn't have any idea one day it would, you know, we'd be a part of this and hosting it. I think we've been every year. Um, it's a great event, great cause, so just happy to be here. Just support David, support what his cause is with this foundation and everything. Um, you know, we always preach, you know, being a team, being, a, you know, together, at, you know, with the Patriots and, you know, this is a chance for us to, you know, be outside of football and hang out, you know, outside the facility. Why you to be here? Uh, well, it's David's event, so he asked me to come, so I came. I love him. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> I think my best game is maybe like 160, and that was a lot of luck. Who's going to have the most gutter balls tonight? Uh, definitely Moffy. Yeah, definitely Moffy. <laughs> uh, I do a lot of work with Boston Medical Center, and... You know, I think one of the things that they've been able to do is highlight and use great ambassadors, uh, starting with uh, Gerard Mayo and then, you know, myself and my brother getting to do it. And now with DA, with David doing it, I think it, it speaks obviously about helping other people, but it's men who really care about other people, not just doing it to do it, but actually take an interest in going out there, being in the community, trying to help change lives. So I think, you know, for BMC and David, I, I think it's a, a, a beautiful connection. What a great group of guys. I'm so happy that we got to experience this event tonight, but unfortunately, it's time to say goodnight. Until next time, make sure you follow us on Dirty Water Media on all social media platforms so you stay up to date on all things lifestyle and entertainment in the city of Boston and greater Boston. You know, Kendra, we have a little saying here on Dirty Water. The weekend may be over, but the party never ends. On, on Dirty, Dirty Water, Water TV. Hopefully we'll keep this thing going next year. Thank you all for coming.